on. Oh no. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to diagnose a bad air intake heater relay or glow plug relay on a 99 and up Ford 7.3 uh, diesel. Um, this is the non-California edition that has two relays and not a whole glow plug module instead. Uh, we're gonna be using some test leads and a digital voltage uh, ohm meter. I like to use a voltage meter because test light can show a relay has continuity, but it might not have full contact inside because of worn contact. So with a voltage meter, you get a good true readout of um, what's going on inside and through that relay. So stay tuned. So one of the first things I like to do is to double check. And I've just gotten into a habit of doing this since I was a kid and growing up around this stuff. Um, double check that our multimeter is actually working. So you go to a known good battery, right? So the truck cranks, we have some voltage, but better off to just check anyway, um, that we've got the multimeter showing what the battery's putting out. So 12.46, I think we're looking pretty good there. So voltage meter, check. Now that we've identified we got a happy multimeter, it's time to get into the nitty gritty. Uh, take your two nuts out that hold your cover down take that out of there and identify your relays. Uh, it's a good habit to check that you have power from the battery to the relays to ensure that uh, that's not your problem with power coming through. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna find a good ground. I'm just gonna put it to the battery in this case with the multimeter, make sure that stays in there like that. And double check again that I have power, battery, good. So now that we've found that, we can go over to the relays. So these ones have got worn out rubber caps, just 273,000 miles on this truck. Um, so we're gonna check that that's the bun coming, the cable that comes from the battery to here, and then we're gonna check power to it. Okay, we have battery voltage, 12.47. Let's check this guy. Those caps are really dry. I might just stab right through it. Looks like there's been pierced before. 12.47, so we've got good battery voltage to the relays. Okay, so time to explain the relay. You have the relay itself. You have four posts, two thick ones, two small ones. Uh, what a relay does is an electromagnetic switch it takes power and ground from one side and then it closes a magnet which closes a circuit to let power from here to here. So we have our battery voltage on this side and we have no voltage on this side when the engine is off. Uh, when you turn the key on, this wire, the small red wire on both relays will have 12 volt power to it all the time. What happens is when you turn the key on and the computer says, hey, I need glow plugs, it tells the orange or brown wire on the other side to send ground to that terminal and that's what closes the magnet inside, which sends power from the battery to the glow plugs or the heater grid. Okay, I've got my positive test lead hooked up to the component side, the glow plugs harness, the one with the two wires that go to valve covers. I've got my negative hooked up to my battery ground. We're going around here. I've got my test leads hooked up, positive red, negative black. All right, and we're gonna check when the glow plugs go on, when I turn the key, if we got voltage through that. That's good, I do have voltage going through that relay. So that tells me that relay is closing the circuit. So now I'm gonna go check the heater grid, intake heater. And I'm gonna move this relay over to this post here, because I wanna check that one out make sure that one's good so now that we're on the other relay component side same connections we're going to turn the key on all right glow plug i got no voltage going through there that tells me that we have a bad relay okay so now that i've diagnosed that i don't have power through this relay i just want to check the other stuff out right so i'm going to go to the red wire which should be 12 volts short you got to be careful you don't want to touch your test leads to all the other terminals it can make sparks and that's not fun or short circuit thing so i'm hooked up to a little one still on battery ground here still looking for voltage so right now what we're checking on that red wire is that when the key is on we have voltage here so i'm going to turn the key on the key's on 
good. I've got battery voltage to that relay. Um, that shows me that we're good with the key when the ignition's on that I've got power to it. So check that checks out. So now what we want to check is if the other side of the relay, the, uh, what was it, brown or orange on this one, we've got the brown wire, the little brown wire here on the relay. We want to make sure that that's getting grounded when the glow plug light is told on, and that can happen for a minute and a half to two. Um, now, what we might run into is if there's a shortened side of that solenoid, why it's not closing, we might get full voltage through here. So what I'm going to do is I'll turn the key on now and we should have, this should go quick volt to no voltage or low, low, low because it's closing and we're still seeing magnetism. Um, so there's a little residual voltage. So when I turn the key on, yeah, so it's showing voltage. Now that side should be grounded. So what's, what I'm being told here is that I've got voltage on that terminal and it should be grounded. So there should be no voltage. So this tells me that there's an internal short in that relay. So let's pull the relay out and get ourselves a new one in there. All right, and we are back. So we had to go ahead and order one from the Ford dealer. Check it out, pause it here, screenshot it, whatever you're doing, get this part number. That's what we're using here for the uh, intake heater relay. So I'm a big fan when you do these relays, um, I've seen these online for $60. Where I live, I paid $90 for it. It is what it is. Uh, I get worried about these things getting damaged and shipping. I've had too many bad experiences to each their own now. So the way I look at it is this, from what I can tell, is the original one. That's 20 years old now, uh, or almost 20 years old. So if you paid $60 to $70 every 20 years or you paid $15 every two years for a crappy one, you're going to do better with a $60, $70 uh, solenoid. So I'm going to put this one back in. Uh, I actually had the uh, glow plug relay as well. That was a different part number. And I went and put that in already um, just because I prefer to have Motorcraft relays on this system. Um, from my experience, they seem to hold up much better um, than the aftermarket relays for this application with the glow plugs. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed and we're going to test it out again. That's what we like. Yeah! Thanks for watching. Click that follow, subscribe button, whichever side of your screen it's on right now. <laughs> <laughs>